Hey, good evening, guys. Tush coming at you. Just coming up to 7 o'clock uh, in the evening on Tuesday, January the 5th. And we decided to come out in the garage and do a bit of a power hour tonight. We're going to work on this uh, ugly looking uh, front fender for the 59 TR3A. And I mean ugly looking. It has got some weird stuff going on. It's extremely heavy. <laughs> For one, th for one reason, and that reason I think it's got a heck of a lot of fill and stuff in here. This actually looks like an extra piece of metal has been added in here. Um, you can sort of see a screw there, so I'm not sure what's going on, whether there's a double layer of metal in here, whatever. Anyway, we're going to have to expose this and see what kind of interesting things we're into there. Uh, we've got pretty good... Uh, bend on this flange over here so I'm not sure what's going on there not sure what's going on there so uh, yeah this one's gonna have a whole bunch of surprises I think and uh, based on the condition of the front uh, apron this might have quite a bit of filler in this area here as well so we shall see so that's what the job is gonna be for tonight we're gonna strip this down and see what we've got and uh, we'll tackle it the best we can, but uh, we need to find out how bad it is first. So let's get going. So there's the before shot, and uh, we'll come back with some after shots in the near future. You're curious, right, guys, aren't you? Steve. I know I am. Ooh. Not good. So this bottom flange is all wrong for this car, so not sure what's going on here, but this does not look stock. Anyway, we'll continue on. That's a little Animal disheartening. Feeling. You should have the camera set up on a tripod. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go from this side and see if we can see what's going on from this side. So far we got lots of Bondo. We'll see if we can reveal something else on this side. I'll see if I can do some one-handed footage. Boy, this is bad. That is in there thick. No wonder this fender weighed so much. Well, I've never seen anything quite like it. This does suck. Yeah, it's had some major, major work on it. Not good work either. Oh. So. It's going to take quite a bit to save this fender. Okay, we'll keep going at it. We'll, uh, it's getting to be less bondo in the top of the fender, which is a good thing. I'm not sure if I'll be able to save this fender or not. It's pretty battered. But we'll see. Never give up. Never surrender. I wish I had a scale. That's got to be at least a quarter pail of bondo. Oh. Got to finish the rest of the fender now. Alright guys, just coming up to uh, 9 o'clock. And uh, that was a bit of an adventure. We got her all stripped down. And as suspected, the uh, the nose has a, a bit of bondo and a bit of crumpling. As I suspected. But not too bad. I don't think it's any worse than the uh, 60 TR3 that I worked on. So we'll be able to hammer that out a little bit. And the rest of the fender is not too bad. A little bondo there, a little bondo here. I'm assuming this is probably where the uh, either here or here was the mirror mount 
I'd have to check underneath. I'm sure it's been welded shut and bonded over. But like I said, the rest of the top of the fender is not bad. I don't know about the flange yet. We're not going to tackle that tonight. I've had enough uh, fun for the evening. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just put this away for the night. We'll give the good, uh, a good clean out to the garage. We'll give it a good uh, blow out with the leaf blower, park the cars back in and call it a night. That is ugly. That's the word of the night. Ugly. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. All right, we're done for another night. The garage is semi-clean or cleaner. And we'll move the six back in. Right, have a good night, guys.